Today I'm gonna be showing you the best hidden features for the brand new iPhone XS. Now these are hidden features, tips and tricks to help you use your new iPhone at its highest potential. Now for this video, we're gonna be using the new iPhone XS Max, but these features will also work on the regular iPhone XS as well. All right, let's take a closer look at the best hidden features so you can use your iPhone XS like a pro. The first hidden feature I wanna show you is how to access dark mode on your iPhone XS. Watch this. As you can see, you're now in the dark mode for your iPhone where all of the blacks turn to white and the whites turn to black. Now, why is this useful? Well, let's say you are reading an article at night uh, and you want it to, to go a little bit easier on the eyes, you can easily change the color scheme. Now, the best part is, and this is technically called smart invert colors, and what that means is, as you can see with these pictures, it doesn't actually change the colors on the pictures. It only changes those blacks and whites to make it a lot easier to read at night or just to make it a more fun experience by switching to this dark mode, which you can go in and out of just by triple clicking this side button. But if you try that right now, it's probably not gonna work because you need to get it set up first, which is exactly what I'm gonna show you to do. So what you wanna do is open up the settings application. So first hop into settings and then scroll down until you see general right here. Then you're gonna go to accessibility and once you're in settings, general accessibility, what you wanna do is scroll down until you see accessibility shortcut, just like this. Now yours won't be selected, mine is already chosen. Uh, yours will probably look like this. As you can see, nothing is selected. And this is what you're gonna choose for the action your phone takes when you triple click the side button. We wanna choose smart invert colors. Make sure you do the smart one instead of classic, because classic just inverts all the colors. What smart does is it turns the whites to black and blacks to white, just like this. So now, whenever you triple click the side button, just like so, it's going to access that dark mode or the smart invert colors mode. And as you can see, this looks really great on your iPhone. It's the exact same thing when you hop into Safari, let's say you're reading an article or reading an iBook, it looks just like this. All right, let's take a look at the next hidden feature for your iPhone XS. The next hidden feature allows you to capture the full potential of your video recording on your iPhone XS. Now, what you probably don't know is if you open up the camera app and you switch over to video, all you're recording in is 1080p. Now, 1080p is great, it's HD video, but your iPhone with the 12 megapixel camera right on the back can actually record 4K video at 60 frames per second. 4K video looks amazing, and it's probably something you wanna try out. So here's how to access this hidden feature. You wanna to go to settings, then you're gonna scroll down until you find camera right here, as you can see, camera. And you can see, by default, record video and slow-mo video is only at 1080p at 30 frames per second. If you click here, you can see that you can switch it to 4K all the way up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Now, when you open up your video camera right here on your iPhone, you can record in amazing 4K. As you can see right up there, it says 4K, 60 frames per second. This next hidden feature allows you to add a virtual home button on your iPhone XS. Now, this is really cool because as you know, the iPhone XS, as well as the iPhone X, they don't have a home button. Now, this is great, it increases the size of the screen, but sometimes you miss having that home button there where all you have to do is uh, press it in order to exit an app uh, or even use it to access other cool features like Siri. So this virtual home button is the next best thing and I think it might even be even cooler. So there's two great things you can do with this, actually a few, and I'll show you how to set it up in a second. Now, one is by 3D touching, which is pressing a little bit harder. You can use it just like a regular home button. As you can see, just like a home button would do, uh, you're able just to press like so, and it exits out of the app you're currently in, just like the regular home button. Now, if you press a light press, as you can see, it pops up with a lot of different options. So I can view my notifications like so. I can also go in and take a look at the device. I can rotate the screen, lock the screen, increase or decrease the volume. I can also access the control center and even Apple Pay and of course, the regular home button as well. 
Now, there is a very easy way to set this up on your device, and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to do this right now. So all you have to do in order to set up the virtual home button is go into your settings application. You're gonna scroll down to general. Then you're gonna to go to accessibility. And what you're looking for is assistive touch because that's the actual name for it. Now first, you wanna turn this on. And the minute that you turn it on, as you can see, it pops up with that virtual home button, which is great. A lot of people don't know about this. And um, you can see that there's a few custom actions here. You can change the opacity, you can add gestures in. There is a lot of customization uh, with this feature. Now, uh, the first thing that you wanna do is make sure the single tap is set to open menu. I believe it's like that by default. But you can also set double tap and long press. And this is how to really turn it into um, a virtual home button. Long press by default doesn't have anything chosen. What you wanna do is choose home. Now, what does this do? If you choose long press goes home, that means if you either press on it for a longer period of time or 3D touch on it, which is press a little bit harder, it's going to close the current app uh, and exit the screen just like a regular home button would do. I'll show you that again, just 3D touch on it and it closes the app. Now, single tap is gonna open the menu and double tap, I had it to set up with Siri. So if you tap twice kind of quickly, it's gonna open up Siri just like so. If you tap once, it'll open up the menu. Now you can customize the menu by going to customize top level menu. As you can see here, there is a variety of different options that you can include. So many here that I can't even go through all of them. This is just a lot of fun to explore. You can even add additional icons just like that. You can add, uh, I believe up to eight icons, yes. You can see just like that, you can add eight icons. Um, I like to keep it at the default six, but you can set it up however you'd like. But that is how to add your virtual home button right here on your iPhone XS. Now, if you learned something new, don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends so they can see all of these great iPhone XS hidden features as well. All right, let's take a look at the next hidden feature. This next one's pretty quick, but it's very useful if you wanna type with just one hand, you're on the go, especially with how big the iPhone XS Max is. So what this is, is being able to access a one-handed keyboard. This makes it so much easier just to type with one hand. Now the way to do this is to 3D touch right here on the globe icon. Now you might recognize this uh, because it's exactly what uh, opens up the emoji icons like so, but if you 3D touch, you're able just to swipe up and access the one-handed keyboard. And as you can see, I can type with just one hand. Now, you can of course send it over to the other uh, hand as well. So you can use your thumb on this side uh, and then of course bring it back together just by pressing that and enabling the regular keyboard. Now that's a really quick one. This next hidden feature is very serious because it has the potential to save you from a dangerous situation. Now, what this is called is Emergency SOS, and what it lets you do is press this side button five times in order to call emergency services discreetly and safely in order to get you help if you need it. Now, hopefully you never have to use this feature, but I encourage every single one of you watching this video to turn this on just to make sure you have it just in case. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up. I recommend everybody watching follow along. So you're gonna to wanna to open up your settings app and then go right here to Emergency SOS. So just scroll down in the settings to Emergency SOS. And then what you're gonna do here is turn on call with side button. Now this is going to turn on the Emergency SOS feature. Now by default, Apple does have emergency SOS when you press and hold the side button and either of the volume buttons like so. As you can see, it pops up and you swipe emergency SOS. Now I have to quickly put in my pin code just like that. And that allows you to access emergency SOS normally. But when you enable call with side button, which is this hidden feature I just showed you. So again, going into settings, emergency SOS, enable call with side button, what that's gonna do is all you need to do is press this side button five times in quick succession in order for it to call emergency services. Now this is very important because let's say you're not able to take out your phone and swipe in order to access this. 
All you have to do is quickly press this button. You could do it from your pocket five times in order to have emergency services called. Again, hopefully you never have to use this, but it is definitely very valuable to have on your device. I also recommend going down here and setting up emergency contacts and health. So click that button and it'll allow you to set up your emergency contacts who will also be alerted if you're in an emergency situation. You can also add medical history there as well and information. So if you have a medical condition or allergies, then the first responders will be able to see that as well. So again, everybody watching this, I highly recommend setting up this emergency SOS. Hopefully you don't have to use it, but it is good just to be safe. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it again. And open up the settings app, scroll down to emergency SOS and turn on call with side button. And all you do is press the side button five times quickly and they'll call emergency services. Uh, now don't forget, I recommend sharing this video with a friend as well so they can learn about this and make sure not just the other hidden features which are fun, but this is a very serious one just to make sure that they have this enabled um, because this could save you from that dangerous situation. Now we're gonna take a quick break to thank our sponsor for this episode. This is an amazing application that you're gonna to wanna to download so you can save money every time you go shopping. Now don't worry, we have more hidden features for your iPhone XS coming up in just a second. We have a lot more to show you, but I did wanna take a second to thank our sponsor and show you this app because you're all gonna to wanna to download this. It is a great application that lets you save instant cash back every time you go shopping online. If you're not using this app, then you are leaving money on the table. This app in of itself is a hidden app if you didn't know about it already. So I highly recommend following along and taking a look. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up a new browser window in Safari and go to this exact URL right here on the screen. It's bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash get ebates bonus, just like this bit.ly slash G-E-T E-B-A-T-E-S B-O-N-U-S. It's also right here on the screen. It's bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus and then click go. Now, why is it an Ebates bonus? Well, that's because when you go using this code, not only do you help support our show, but we've worked with Ebates to get you a $10 sign up bonus just for signing up with Ebates and when you make your first purchase of $25 or more at any of their supported sites. Now they have a lot of sites, I'm gonna show you them in just a second. So not only do you earn cash back every time you go shopping, which I'll show you how to do that, you can also find coupons, and when you go to that URL, bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus, you're gonna get $10 additional cash back included on your first purchase. So all you have to do is put in your email address and password and join, or easily connect with Facebook or Google. Once you've done that, it'll give you directions on how to install the Ebates app. All right, let's take a look. Once you sign up and open the app, you'll see just how amazing it is. As you can see, 10% cash back on Macy's right now. Um, now it's usually 3%, but they always have these big promotions uh, on different websites. So in this case, it's 10% cash back on all of Macy's online. Uh, it's great for online shopping. Now here's another great part. They'll also tell you about store sales. So not only do you get 10% cash back, but you can also get the 30% off VIP sale and it'll tell you about all of the coupons on the website. So not only do you get cash back, but you also get access to the best coupons. It's a double win, just like that. Now you can also install this on your computer as well, but as you can see, Walmart, 10% cash back. JCPenney, 6%. Macy's, 10%. Groupon, 6%. Um, we also have Kohl's, 12%, right there, just like that, cash back. Um, Amazon's a little bit interesting because it's usually uh, doesn't give you cash back. You have to look at the categories, but certain sites like Kohl's and Macy's and JCPenney and Walmart, they give you cash back on anything you purchase online. Now let's take Kohl's for instance. Let's open up Kohl's. As we can see, 12% cash back, uh, usually 3%, but currently 12%. In addition to that, there's a site-wide sale, 30% off plus $10 Kohl's cash for every $50 spent. So you can see these savings added up. You can also take a look at all the coupons. And the other best part is too, when you make your first purchase of over $25, because you used bit.ly 
slash get ebates bonus that lets you get that bonus, you get an additional $10 back just for using this code, this link, bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. It's right here on the screen and in the description. I highly recommend this application. I use it whenever I shop online. There are over 1,500 online websites that you can go through and they're big name sites like Macy's and JCPenney uh, and all of these sites you're shopping on regularly that you can get additional cash back, the best coupons and $10 when you get started. So bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. You're gonna be able to sign up. You help to support our show and you also get a $10 bonus when you make your first purchase within that first month. All you have to do to start earning the Ebates cash is click shop now and it automatically applies the cash back that you're gonna get. It also shows you all of the coupons at the top right as well. You just need to browse the site as normal and make your order. You can also do the exact same thing on the Ebates website. Again, you have to make sure you click shop now from Ebates and then go and make your purchase in order to get that cash back and get the $10 bonus. All right, the link is down there in the description. Now let's take a look at some more hidden features for your iPhone XS. Now I'm gonna show you some control center hidden features that allow you to record video of your iPhone screen and also show you how you can turn your Apple AirPods into live listening hearing aids that cancel out background noise and they work incredibly well if you're in a crowded space to be able to hear people who are talking with you if you're on the subway, it is great. And so we're gonna show you these two hidden features right now. So what you need to do in order to access the control center hidden features, which of course the control center is when you swipe down from the top right, you can see these are the basic control center uh, functions that are included. We're gonna show you how to add some on top of this. So go into settings and then you're gonna click on control center. Now click customize controls and this is where you can add these hidden features directly to your phone. Now the ones we're gonna be talking about um, a few, a little bit. So I also wanna show you do not disturb while driving. This is another great feature as well. It detects when you're driving and automatically sets up do not disturb. Uh, I'm gonna remove that now, but I did wanna mention that one. But the big ones we're talking about is hearing. So you're gonna add that, that's the live listening. We'll show you how to do that in just a second. I also recommend adding low power mode. That's not really a hidden feature, but that allows you to um, reserve uh, extra battery life when you're running low turn it on whenever you want. It automatically does it when you get below 20%. Um, and the other one we're talking about right here is screen recording, just like so. Now I did wanna show you text size as well because uh, that might also be very beneficial for you too. So we're gonna exit out of here and pop open the control center. Again, just by swiping down from the top right. I'm sure you already know how to do that, but just reminding you. So you can see here we have these hidden features we wanna talk about. The first one I wanna go over uh, is just this text size. A lot of people don't know that you can actually change the size of your text on your phone like so. Watch this. Take a look, now the text is actually a lot bigger. It's easier to read. Uh, and you can change that very quickly from this text side function. You can go back to default uh, whenever you'd like. Now, in addition to that, I wanted to show you the screen recording. So you probably already know that you can take a screenshot using your iPhone just by uh, pressing the side button and the volume up button once, just like so. As you can see, that opens up a screenshot. You can open that up, you can draw on it click done, save it to your photos, and you're good to go. But what you may not know is you can actually record video of your screen on your iPhone XS. So just swipe down and access that screen recording button that we just added in the control center. Again, you're just gonna go to settings, control center, customize controls, that one's screen recording. Next one we'll talk about is hearing. So we swipe down, turn on screen recording, it's gonna count down for you, and now it's actually recording your screen. Look at that, as you can see at the top left, you can see that there is a red bar around the time. That's an indicator that your screen was recording. You can use this uh, to show somebody something. You can also use this to record some gameplay, an app that you're using. 
Whatever you'd like to use it for, just tap the time button when you're done and click stop recording and it will automatically save that to your photos. So that's a great hidden feature that you can enable and access right here from the control center. The last one I wanted to show you is live listening. So when you have your AirPods and you have them out, what you can do is you can turn on live listening hearing. So I do have to set up my AirPods. Let me quickly do that. So once you have your AirPods connected, just swipe down on the control center and click on the hearing icon. And as you can see, you have live listen. When you press this to turn it on, what you're able to do is turn this into a hearing aid. So you can actually hear whatever your iPhone and AirPods are hearing at the time. You can hear that put directly into your ears. So you can magnify the volume, you can use it as a hearing aid, but the best part is it actually cancels out noise so you can use this when you're out and about just to hear people better. It's great if you're on the subway or in a crowded place. This is a really cool hidden feature you probably didn't know about. It also uses your Apple AirPods as well. Now this next one isn't necessarily a hidden feature but it is a great feature for your iPhone XS and you might not know quite now how to set it up, how to make the most use of it, and it's just a lot of fun. So this is the Memoji feature. Um, so in addition to the Animojis, which you may be familiar with, which are, are, are of course uh, these little emojis that you can use, they've added a few new, new ones of them where it records your face or tracks your face, that is, I should say, and it allows you to record a quick message using what your face is saying and uh, how you're smiling. It tracks that onto your phone. Now, you can actually set up a Memoji by clicking this plus icon right here in the Animoji area where you can actually set up a Memoji that looks like you. You can choose all of the details. Uh, you can change the hair, you can change the head shape, change the eyes, set this up to look like you. And then what you're able to do is record a video talking um, with your Memoji. The same way you would with Animoji, it tracks your face and you can record quick, funny messages uh, to your friends. Also, you know, do this on Snapchat uh, or wherever you would like. So I did wanna show you, again, to access that, all you gotta do, click the Animoji, and then you're gonna click the plus to create a Memoji. Now again, I'm not gonna say it's a hidden feature. I know some of you guys say that's not a hidden feature. I know, I just wanted to point this out because it is definitely a great new feature of your iPhone XS. You can now set up an alternate appearance for your face ID. So let's say maybe you wear a hat, you have your hair a different way, you can set up a new appearance and have that unlock your phone as well. But some people are also using that to add somebody else onto their phone. Now, it's not guaranteed to work properly. That's not why it was designed. It's supposed to just be other versions you know, of yourself, maybe you know, with your hair a different way uh, or looking a different style. Um, however, you can even get away with using this uh, with somebody else. So you're gonna go to settings and then we're going to go to face ID and passcode. Do you have to put in my passcode very quickly, just like so. And as you can see, when you get in here, you can see set up alternate appearance. All you have to do is press that so you can add another appearance that's gonna unlock face ID right here on your iPhone. Um, and you're also able to add somebody else in if you want. Maybe give that a little bit of an experiment. Uh, but really it's mostly supposed to be for setting up another variation you know, of the way that you look. So maybe yourself with a beard or yourself uh, with longer hair. However you wanna set it up, you can set up the alternate face ID right there from the settings. And that's a feature maybe not a lot of people know about. Thank you guys for watching our video on the best hidden features for the iPhone XS and iPhone XS Max. Now, if you found this video useful, you learned something new, you found a cool new hidden feature, please like this video, it really helps, I appreciate it. Also, share it with your friends so they can find the best hidden features for their new iPhone XS as well. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite hidden features are, especially if they're ones we didn't show you in this video. I love to learn about a lot more and you can share it with the community. Now, I highly recommend going ahead and downloading this episode sponsor, Ebates. As you can see, you can get cash back on all of these different websites uh, that you usually shop at. And when you go to bit.ly slash get 
Ebates bonus right here on the screen. It's also in the description as a link you can click bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus. You're going to get a $10 bonus just for signing up. You also help to support our show, but you get a $10 bonus for signing up and shopping, uh, making your first purchase. So the first purchase has to be over $25 and then you're able to get that $10 bonus. Again, you're saving money on places you'd shop anyways. If you go to Macy's and you're not using Ebates, you're losing out on 10% cash back and all of the coupons it tells you about. So I highly recommend going to bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus. You'll get that bonus when you use your first purchase. You'll get that $10 and cash back and coupons. It's a great win, 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 uh, and you help to support our show. Now, if you want more hidden features, I recommend watching our iOS 12 hidden features video. I'm gonna give you a quick preview and show you one final hidden feature for your iPhone 10s you might not be familiar with. So I recommend watching our video on the top iOS 12 hidden features. You can click the card link right here in the annotations. Um, and also there's a link down there in the description as well. And when you watch this, you're gonna learn about a lot more hidden features available on iOS 12. And if you don't have an iPhone XS, you can use some of these cool features as well. Now the last feature I'll leave you with is the ability to access the full screen when you're watching videos on YouTube. Watch this, when you wanna access the full screen, just swipe out like so, and as you can see, you can access the full screen. So instead of it having those bars on the side, swipe out and you can fill the entire screen when you're watching it. So again, I recommend watching that video, uh, going ahead and downloading uh, Ebates, which is right over here by bit.ly slash get Ebates bonus. And thank you again for watching. Hopefully you guys found this video valuable and I'll see you all next time. Bye.